Yo, what's good, man? My name is Flimlo Raps. Want to welcome y'all back to another episode of This Week and Last Chance You. As some of y'all already know, I recently took a trip to Independence, Kansas. We're talking about the place where they filmed Last Chance You Season 3 and are currently filming Last Chance You season four no i'm not lying when i say the people of independence really rolled out the red carpet for your boy everybody was unbelievably cool and just welcoming as hell i guess they had gotten used to people walking around with cameras so i just want to send a huge shout out and a thank you to the people of independence specifically mr daniel barwick miss tammy ob and jackie aka the real mvps and everybody else who showed your boy love now i got a ton of footage and if you want to check out the vlogs that i'm posting i've already posted the first one over on my vlog channel base for impact huge thank you thousands of you guys have already gone over there and subscribed if you haven't done so already man the link is in the description be sure to subscribe over there vlog number one is already up and i'm going to be dropping a vlog every single week i got two or three more coming from that indie trip now while i was there i spoke to a ton of people from the director of the show last chance you himself to the president of the university who invited me in the first place the netflix crew and a few of the coaches and all those meetings and conversations was dope and hella productive but i got some nice intel and rumors from the locals and a big one that i want to talk about today is the possibility of leaked Playbooks. Cue the Wayne. Yeah, I'm not no quitter, cause I'ma go, I'ma go, I'ma go get her. Real quick before we jump into the video, y'all already know what it is, man. I have to send a shout out to today's video sponsor and one of the main sponsors on this channel, SeatGeek. If you are attending any games whatsoever, live events, what have you, the SeatGeek app is gonna be your best bet for purchasing those tickets. Basically what they do is aggregate tickets from all over the web and they put them in one place so that you can easily compare. To further assist, they grade each ticket on the scale from one to 100. That way you can get a quick snapshot view of what are the good deals and what are the bad deals. The app also allows you to preview the view of each seat before you purchase. That obviously comes in clutch. Now, if you want to download the SeatGeek app, man, click the link in the description and don't forget to use my code FLIMLO for $20 off your first purchase. Let's get it. So there's a rumor that's kind of floating around about Indy. The rumor basically suggests that a disgruntled ex-player was dismissed from the team, but somehow managed to keep his playbook. The rumor has it that he then takes this playbook, sells it on eBay, and somehow word of this spreads to pretty much all the teams that Indy had to face this season. Now don't worry, I'm not going into scores, outcomes, records, or nothing, none of that here. So you're safe. Now again, I gotta keep saying allegedly, cause this is all alleged. But allegedly, one coach even admitted to this, but that was off the record. Now, this is pretty crazy, and again, only a rumor, but I got something working in the background, and hopefully in next week's episode, I'll be able to expand on this a bit more but for now let me know what y'all think in the comment section do you think this is feasible has this happened before with other programs you know any other stories similar to this let me know in the comment section tremonda moore not a name i discuss very much at all on this channel and of course there's a very good reason for that now tremonda was a top recruit coming out of high school he was supposed to go to oklahoma but due to some issues with his grades he ended up going to indy the reason i haven't covered him much is because he was barely on camera. He really wasn't featured in the show. I actually watched a video by this guy named RJ Young, who kind of talks about why that may have been, you know, why he wasn't featured in the show more. And he basically just says that it could have been injuries or maybe he got in JB's doghouse. So we really don't know, but he was one of the best players at that school so it was probably one of those two things now according to an article by brooke Pryor from newsok.com tremonda did shoot interviews for the show and it seems like he was fully expecting to be featured on the show check out this excerpt from the interview more than a sophomore at independence community college was summoned by independence head football coach after class one afternoon last fall brown told him to throw on some oklahoma gear and hustle to his office when the offensive lineman arrived at brown's office he met the camera crew from netflix's last chance you show a documentary that follows the junior college football program for a season quote from tremonda it's hot i'm sweating i was nervous it was crazy 
but it was fun though. Now the article was published about a month before season three actually dropped. So it goes on to say that by the time the season drops, Jamonda will be 200 miles away watching himself on TV. So he was expecting to be on the show, but for whatever reason, his story didn't really end up making a cut. And basically with that, what happens is, I can tell you from experience, they film all day all right every day and probably about 20 to 15 percent of the stuff they shoot actually ends up making the show so there's a lot that gets left on the cutting room floor and it seems like tremendous scenes or interviews may have been you know some of those anyway the only reason i tell you all of that is to make you a little bit familiar with Tremonda if you weren't familiar already i know some of you were now Tremonda was originally supposed to go to oklahoma ends up having to go to indy due to bad grades but still gets that straight and ends back up at oklahoma where he was supposed to go in the first place now unfortunately i had to bring you guys who weren't up to speed just to tell you that he was dismissed a couple days ago for violating team rules. Now the nature of this violation haven't really come out yet and they may not. Actually, I kind of hope that they don't because you know, I don't know, I just feel like some of that stuff really don't need to be out there. But if they do, of course, I'm gonna report on it because it's public knowledge at that point. But just for the sake of the kids, I mean, you know, if the school wants to keep that confidential, you know, I think that's that's perfectly fine. Either way, man, wishing Tremonda the best. Not sure what went on with him. Hopefully, I'll be covering him again soon for some much better news. All right, I know this episode's a little bit later in the week. That's just due to traveling, but I still want to cover some of the stats from this past week, so let's jump in. We had multiple last chance you guys going head-to-head -head last week, and I want to cover some of the top performers as well. Let's get it. Calvin Jackson is getting more and more snaps in last week versus Delrick Abram. Colorado team Calvin had five grabs for 53 yards which was the second most on the team Terry Wilson went 21 of 34 for 172 a touchdown and an interception in a loss to Emmett Gooden's Tennessee team a game in which Emmett recorded two tackles after getting the start versus FIU in the Shula Bowl and leading the team to a huge victory DeAndre Johnson was once again relegated to the bench seeing limited action this past week versus western kentucky chris robinson came back as the starter and deandre only attempted four passes three of which he completed and one of which was intercepted now y'all already know how i feel about this deandre johnson situation but i gotta say man he's been handling this like a champ you know what i'm saying but it's a uh, it's a very frustrating situation just as a fan i'm frustrated so just imagine how this cat got to feel in this situation he just cannot get a true opportunity over here and what i'm gonna say next is just speculation and i really hope that i'm wrong but i'm wondering if the issue is some lingering damage from the blood clot that deandre developed last year i'm wondering if it might be something to do with that but i think we'll get a little bit more information on that based on what deandre's decisions are after the season all right fellas those were the notable and standout stats from the week i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did don't forget man click the thumbs up button also subscribe to my base for impact channel to check out all of my last chance you vlogs the first one is already up peace nine hours dog my foot is asleep god damn it it was dark as hell back roads everywhere and they got some swag in here laid out for your boy you know what I'm saying? Ooh, Let's see what we got. And we were just talking about how crazy it would be if I go from just covering the show randomly to being on the show in season four. All right, cool. All right, have fun filming that shit. Hey! hey. What's going on? Hey, it's great to meet you, man. Same. Hi. The How's it going? I'm Dwight. It's great to meet yeah. you. I'm Dan Barwick. I'm the president here. So I guess I'm taking you to lunch. Welcome to ICC. Oh, yeah. uh, let me grab my wallet. Uh, oh. Let's all hang on a second. I'll be right, right back. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, yeah, how you doing? This is, oh, okay. I didn't know what they. I didn't know if that was just you on the stage. Um, and it's like it's just so strange to see somebody you have only seen on a TV screen. You know. It's nice to meet you. Have a good time while you're here. Yeah, come on. I'll, I'll show you around. Uh, and so we'll get something good to eat.
shoot in the space, you can't find me. Yeah, I'ma set the pace, bitch, don't mind me. Uh, my brain's on a hundred, always winding. Yeah, I hop on that beat, I'll do it.